Hi, this is uh, AFX Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to do uh, this sort of liquid ink drip type um, effect here. As you can see, uh, it's pretty simple, but it uh, does sort of do this really nice ink type thing. Um, so anyway, this is. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to create a uh, new composition. 1920 by 1080 is fine, you know, 10, 15 seconds, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new solid. We'll just do white. We'll grab the mask tool up here and go ahead and create our circle and put it, you know, in the center about. Uh, you could probably use a shape layer for this too. Uh, I use masks a lot, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. And then that looks fine. We'll um, go ahead and grab a ramp here, set it to radial, and uh, let's switch these points here. Oh, no, I had it the wrong way, like this. There we go. And then switch the colors out. And we'll do this something pretty subtle there and bring this up there you go maybe something like that Let's give it a button type look I guess uh, so yeah now to get to the well let's yeah let's go ahead and get to the effect uh, do a new composition here and we're going to grab this uh, solid that we've already made, hit copy, control C to copy, and then control V to paste it in here. We're going to ditch the ramp, right, um, and let's see, we'll turn that off right now, do a new layer, new solid, white is, uh, let's go ahead and call this particle world. You don't have to use particle world for this, you can kind of, you know, if you want to use particular, you can do that as well. Uh, and there's other ways you can just use uh, uh, sort of other uh, masks, uh, circles, or whatever. However you want to do it, but uh, you'll see how it works. Go ahead and add CC Particle World to that layer, and we'll get with the grid, and then move down the timeline here. And that's pretty much not what we want. So bring the birth rate down to like 0 0.05. I think that's what we're doing and longevity to about five uh... producers fine physics explosive is fine gravity down to zero um, and then the particle we're gonna do lens convex yeah there we go that's sort of what we're going for um, and let's see uh... burst size maybe set to one or maybe even like two Actually, I should go the other way. Burst size set to 2, dust size set to 0. Let's set this back down to 1. Yeah, maybe something like that. We'll see how it looks in a minute. Um, and let's see. Max opacity, just go ahead and bring that up to 100. And um, I think that's it. Let's see how this plays out. That's okay, I think. A little fast. We can um, go to particle, physics, velocity, bring that down to like 0.5. Yeah, that's fine. That looks pretty good. So we can turn both of those on real quick here. Um, now here's the trick. Um, we have it here but there's no blob effect now what we do is we add a layer new adjustment layer and this is originally uh, showed up on Harry Frank's uh, website Gray Machine I think it's called and then later uh, Mike the Monkey Sempton talked about it on uh, Grayscale Gorilla this technique and I haven't seen it really in too many places so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on just how to do this so first we're going to do a fast blur we're going to blur repeat edge pixels. Maybe do that to like 40. You might want to change that later. And you can already see sort of 
that we're starting to get there. And then just add a levels. And on this levels, change the channel to uh, alpha. And now we're going to squish these two uh, knots close together. The trick here is you don't want to get them too close together because then you might get some aliasing problems but you know pretty close and as you can see here we suddenly have that sort of blobby effect which is pretty cool and you know um, you can play with the uh, the uh, blur here to sort of make it even more yeah see and then squish these knots together to give it a yeah And that's pretty, that's pretty much how you make the effect. I mean, you can do the same thing uh, without Particle World. You can just sort of, you know, create a new layer. And we'll go ahead and grab just a circle here. And we'll, you know, keyframe the mask here at zero. Go to, I don't know, two seconds or so. And then just move that mask over. like that, put it under the adjustment layer and see how this looks. Yeah, see? Pretty cool. Very drippy, liquid-like. So yeah, this is pretty easy to do. Um, and it's, you, you kind of have to use solids. I mean, if you're use, you can't really use like pictures or anything like that because it's just not going to look right. Um, unless you, unless you create this effect and uh, use it as, say, like an alpha mat for a picture or something. So you could do that as well. Um, so yeah, once, uh, yeah, there's your effect. And then um, go back to comp one here and bring in comp two. There's our blobs. And I think I just copied the ramp over, didn't I? Yeah. Control C, Control V, and I added a new solid. We'll call this ramp for the ramp BG for the background, right? And uh, let's do add a ramp. And you know it's another radial ramp. We'll do something sort of like a dark, more grayish. And then just move that out. Um, so yeah, and then uh, as you can also see, I also added a bevel, which is just, you know, layer new, adjustment layer, uh, bevel alpha. See, so there you go, you got the, uh, if you crank it up, and we'll do a new comp, drag in comp one, comp one, we'll grab that ramp HG, hit copy, and paste that, bring that down, and yeah, there you go, there's your simple uh, sort of drippy bubble effect, pretty easy to do, only takes a few minutes, uh, so yeah. That's um, that's pretty much it. And if you're curious, you know the uh, liquid ink drops are this um, the text here. Uh, it's just got a bevel on it, and then there's I have another layer underneath with a stroke on it of like two or something, and uh, it's got a gradient overlay, which is something along the lines of a real subtle gray. Um, but that's uh, pretty much about it. That's how you do that effect. And it's pretty cool, really simple, and really quick to do. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys have any requests, leave it, leave it in the comments. Thanks a lot.